we have decided to undertake transformation of the Indian Army and that essentially spans across five key domains starting from force restructuring and optimization, modernization and technology infusion. Then you have the human resource management philosophy or Agnipat, which came about sometime middle of last year. We are also looking at greater emphasis, stress and better outcomes in terms of jointness as integration. And lastly, we are also looking at refining and improving our systems and processes in order to enhance the operational, administrative, as well as the logistic efficiencies. We've also decided that this year, or 2023, will be the year of transformation, wherein we have laid out a specific roadmap for the outcomes that we intend achieving. And of course, this process will continue beyond the current year. And in this regard, I would just highlight a few initiatives uh, that we have taken in relation to the Agnipath scheme. There are two key aspects that we are looking at. First is, we have launched the Army software for Agnipath Automation at Networking or ASAM which is a integrated software right from the Agni Veer time that he gets recruited till the time he joins the recruiting centers during his period at the recruiting center and subsequently while he is or an Agni is serving in a unit till the time he exits at the end of four years or is retained in service. So this entire gamut of his management, his performance assist assessment, a selection process for retention, all that has been encapsulated in this Asan software, which I am happy to announce when the training of the first batch commenced on 1st January, uh, we have started using this software. We also have aligned the project of digitization and automation, launched another software called the Indra. Now this is the Indian Army Data Repository and Access System, wherein, and most of you would, or most of you are aware, we have different regiments and within Infantry, we have different regimental centers. So in this software, we will have all these centers of the record offices coming on board. So you have a central data repository of all our soldiers, officers and JCOs available at a single, in a single window, which will essentially help us for better HR management and decision making. Now this again has been launched about a month back and is working well. The third software which we have launched is called Dhanvantri and it relates to the medical data of our, all, all our personnel, essentially linking all the military hospitals. We have close to 150 of them spread pan India. So again, here you will have a single window or a single database wherein all the medical data will be available and this will again facilitate uh, planning, management of patients, you know, pharmacy, etc. In terms of the human resource management, couple of things 
I would want to mention and first is commissioning of women officers in the regiment of artillery. Now this is something which we have decided we must do and this proposal has been forwarded to the government and we hope that this will be accepted. We also have Army martial art routine or in short Amar. Now this is by this we will be training or skilling our soldiers right from recruitment and during subsequent service and it's an amalgamation of different unarmed combat techniques. This we believe will bring in more dynamism, more vibrancy in terms of their physical fitness and their ability to deal with combat situations.